Hello everyone. Here we are for some encouraging words together. Thank you for joining us for this opportunity to just look at God's word, to uh, believe it, to apply it to our lives, to offer our prayers to him, and find in the very presence of the Lord, even right now, a sense of hope, peace, and uh, just uh, calm from the storms of life. We can always find safety in the presence of the Lord. Thanks for tuning in today. I was thinking about storms. There have been a lot of storms here in our area uh, recently. It seems like the last several days, uh, almost every night, there's been a storm. My dog, uh, is he's gotten older, has become more nervous. Uh, he can sense the weather change. The minute he hears that thunder, he just starts to shake wants to cuddle up right next to us, and uh, we're trying to find ways to maybe help him. Storms in life come, don't they? In fact, uh, in the physical, we've had a series of tornadoes in the area. It wasn't so long ago that tornadoes ripped through Kentucky, and we've all heard uh, news reports of various locations around the region and the country that have been undone by wind in terrible storms. It wrecks havoc. Of course, the key to surviving a storm for any building is to having a strong foundation. Trees need a strong root system. Structures need um, strong foundations to hold themselves in place. And the, the better the foundation, the more likely it is that that building will withstand the storms that come along. But no earthly structure is fully um, adequate, is it? It seems at some point there's a time of testing that comes, and more often than not, the storms of life tend to be bigger than our ability to endure them. That's true in the physical, but what about our hearts? What about our lives? The storms that come that, uh, that are our emotional or uh, maybe physical, but they hit us in a, 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 a powerful emotional way. They come with great grief or sadness or disappointment, difficulties, unexpected news. Is there a way to weather through those? And I think so. And not just surviving by the skin of our teeth, so to speak. I think there's a way to withstand the storms of life and to find ourselves still standing strong on the other side. There are a lot of scriptures we could look at today that talk about this. Jesus would talk about a parable about a man who built his house on a rock versus a man who built his house on sand. The same wind hit both places, the same rain, same storm, but only one was left standing at the end. That's a theme we find throughout the scripture, the importance of building your life on the right foundation. Listen to what the psalmist has to say. Almost a thousand years before the time of Christ, Psalm 31, verse 24, the psalmist says, Be strong and take heart, all you who hope in the Lord. You know, in those days, people put their hope in all kinds of things. The king would put his hope in the army. Uh, he might put his hope in their technical ability or the uh, resources they had. In fact, uh, the scripture says some trust in chariots and some in horses. Those were weapons of warfare that with, with, with which uh, you could run down your opponent. And leaders of countries would put their hope in their military force. But, uh, but the, the writer goes on to say, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. There are those who depend on their own strength, their own intellect, their own prowess, their own attributes, their own accomplishments, their own talent, only to find that maybe even despite years of development, sometimes storms in life come along that are greater than us. We need a source outside ourselves. We need to put roots down deep into a relationship with our Heavenly Father who holds us and keeps us safe and brings us through every storm if we put our hope in Him. I mentioned my dog. His name is Grayson. He just shakes now with every storm. He gets nervous. I'm not sure what's caused that change. He wasn't like that when he's little, but now that he's over four years old, um, I don't know if he's just more aware um, of his own limitations, but he just shakes. What happens when we get sad news or difficult, uh, go through difficult times? Are we shaken? Are we overcome? The psalmist tells us that we can be strong and take heart. We can receive courage. 
you know, courage is not the absence of fear, but it's the ability to face down our fears and not run, not try to hide away. We can do that when we have our trust, our hope in the Lord. Be strong and take heart, all you who hope in the Lord. Hope is not a wishing. Hope is not, well, I, I, I hope this might happen down the road. That's not what it means. It means those who find their assurance, those who find their peace, those who look to the Lord and because of his presence know that no matter what tomorrow brings, he's still there. And if he's there, then there's a way to overcome. How are you? What are you facing in this season of your life? Are you surrounded by storms? Have there been circumstances or has news come your way that has shaken you to the very core? There is still hope. But don't put your hope in necessarily people by themselves or in the economy or in money or fame or or any of the other things that people chase after. Let's put our hope in the Lord. And how do we do that? We do that by practicing a relationship with him. It happens as we open our hearts to Christ, asking him to be our Lord and Savior. It builds and continues and deepens as we study his word, as we spend time in prayer, as we invite the Holy Spirit to do a work in us, to fill us with his presence and with his power, to change our mindset, to change our way of thinking. Our minds often have to be renewed as we memorize and study and apply the Word of God to our lives and believe His truths rather than just the things we take in through our five senses. Learning to orient ourselves according to what the Lord says and not just what we think. When we do that, there is always hope to be found. So my encouragement to each of us today, may we find our hope in the Lord. When we do, as we do, there is strength that he pours out to each of us. There is courage. That's what it means to take heart. Take courage. Be brave. Be strong. Be bold. Trust in the Lord. There is courage that comes into us as we hold on to our hope, our assurance in the goodness of God. You know, he loves you. There's no one that loves you more than he does. He sees every aspect of our lives. He looks to meet our needs according to his riches in glory, which is always more than enough to meet us right where we are. And as we center our lives in him, there is a peace that can come flooding our soul. We can hold on to hope at every uh, juncture, in any situation, no matter how dark or how desperate. There's always hope in the Lord. Take heart today. With that thought, let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this opportunity to just share a few moments from your word. I thank you for the words of the psalmist that just inspire us and offer, Lord, not just instruction, but but inspiration. We can almost feel the courage coming through as we read the word and choose to believe it. Lord, help us when uh, we face um, unexpected circumstances or daunting situations, help us to hold on to our hope in you. You, the God who loves us. You, the God who cares. You, the God who's always present. Nothing surprises you, Lord, because you are able to overcome and meet each one of our needs, Lord, with your divine ability. So we trust you today. Let courage pour out to every heart. Let there be a strengthening that comes to every life that's tuning in in this very moment, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Thank you for the hope we find in you. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Boy, I feel better already. Every time we just pause long enough to look at the word and to trust in the Lord and what he says to us, there is a strength that comes. Let's receive it even now. Thanks for tuning in today. Here at Friendship Village on Channel 900, we work to, we work to show you these videos three times a day. They're brand new at 4.30. They're repeated 8 o'clock at night and then once again 8 o'clock the following morning. We store all these videos, however, on YouTube. And if you go there online through any computer or tablet or phone, however you, you connect with the Internet, you can type in encouraging words 
with Burt Campbell and see almost 350 of our videos there now and watch them at your leisure. If you're watching this today and uh, feel like it's encouraging you, consider whom might uh, you share it with. Who could use a word of encouragement today? Maybe pass this video on to them. If you're watching online, you can click on my face right here above to subscribe to these videos when they're brand new, or you can click the, on the box below to see any in our past history. There is courage from God available for all of us today. Let's hold on to it. God bless. We'll see you next time.